Good morning, and we're back with a overview on how to um, create a percentage change debt chart. This is your assignment. You're going to create a subset chart to show the top 10 by percentage change. We're not going to try to chart all, um, what was it, 83 um, schools. We're just going to do the top 10. So you're going to have to build a filter command. Filter command came from our um, earlier uh, discussion in class. We use this as a filter command. We created, uh, we sorted um, the, the data for student loans by, um, created a new table. We filtered it filtering the student loan data by this operator, which was the state equals Arkansas, and that gave us just a subset table of Arkansas um, data. You're going to build that filter here. You're going to call it a top 10% table. You're going to call it filter your earlier table that you built, which was the 2012 2016%. Remember this bad boy? And you're going to filter the percentage change column to reflect what would be the top 10 items. It's going to be in a decimal. It's not going to be in a percent. So you have to put a decimal and then the number. So I will leave it up to you to figure out what decimal would build a table of the top 10%. Next, you're going to install the um, ggplot and forecasts software. I will have assumed by this point that you have loaded all the other software packages Remember, for this assignment, you're going to have to build an R script that shows the steps that you took to build these charts. Here is some sample code here that uh, we used. And here is the whole script for building a chart. We're going to call this a chart using ggplot. This is the data that is the basis of the chart, the top 10% table. So we're charting that table in ggplot. The aesthetics will be the percentage change will be on the x-axis, so on the bottom. The y will be um, the colleges and the percentage change sorted. So the percentage change will be in descending order. That's what that's all about. It's going to be a point chart. We're going to format the x uh, axis in percent. And you're putting your title here. And then you plot the thing. So you run this code. You're going to adapt this code for your own evil purposes. Run the code. Zoom it out. And you're going to produce a chart like this. Percentage change formatted and the top schools. As we saw from our table, ITT technical leading with over 100% increase in median debt. 2012-2016. Then this is how you export a file. You use ggsave. ggsave exports your chart as a file. And then you find your chart here and it looks like this. It's a PNG chart, you can export it. Your assignment 
is to create an R script with the commands used to build these charts, including the loading of the libraries, the setting of the working directory, and the loading of the files. You're going to create a chart illustrating the percentage change for the top 10 schools. And export that as a PNG file. Then you're going to create a chart illustrating the percentage change for the bottom 10 schools. Okay, well, the for the hospital and you're not going to chart the null values. Your chart must have data for all 10 schools. And you're going to export that as a PNG file. You'll upload the two charts and the PNG files in the R script to WordPress by Thursday at 11.59 p.m. Good luck. See you in a week and a half.